This great harlot was sitting on many waters. Many waters, he explains in verse 15, same chapter 17, verse 15. Many waters are peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. In other words, this great harlot is sitting on the entire world. Sitting on the entire world. What is the world? Peoples, multitudes, nations, and all tongues. So she's sitting on the entire world. Now, if Babel here means Iraq, then the question that arises here, does Iraq control the whole world? The answer, obviously, no. Therefore, this Babylon, the great, the mother of all harlots, is not talking about Babylon of Iraq, Mesopotamia, Middle East. It is talking about another Babylon of our era. Not the old one, but the new era. Because the Babylon of old definitely does not control the whole world. But this harlot woman is sitting on many waters, peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. She's sitting, i.e. controlling the world. Therefore, this Babylon is a different Babylon. It's not the old, but it's the new one. Now, who is the Babylon of our times ruling the world, sitting on many waters? None but the United Nations. None but the United Nations. We spoke about this in, de in depth and details back in chapter 13 of Revelation. We spoke about this in depth. The United Nations is the Babylon of the 21st century. Let's look at the, wor at the word great. Why is he calling this harlot great? Why is she the great harlot? The word great. Greatness is connected with earth. Holiness is connected with heaven. Greatness is connected with earth. Holiness is connected with heaven. You see, anyone, any human being who is totally distant from God, that person will end up seeking their own greatness. They want to be great. Any human being that is distant from the true divine God, they will always seek to be great. And this is the world. Everyone in the world is running in this race to be the greatest of all, isn't it? America trying to be the greatest. China trying to be the greatest. Russia trying to be the greatest. The superpowers of the world, everyone is in conflict. Everyone is is actually running to see who is going to end up being the greatest. Why? Because this is the true sign when you don't have God in your heart, the true God. When you don't have the true God in your heart, you're seeking to be the greatest.